We're here today to announce a historic step forward in our ongoing effort to protect the American people from financial fraud and to hold accountable those whose actions threaten the integrity of our financial markets and undermine the stability of our economy. The Department of Justice has reached an agreement with Bank of America totaling over $16.6 billion in penalties and consumer relief. This constitutes the largest civil settlement with a single entity in history. Bank of America has agreed to sign a statement of facts in which it admits publicly its repeated failure and the repeated failures of its affiliates Merrill Lynch and Countrywide to disclose to investors key facts about the actual quality of the loans they packaged up into residential mortgage-backed investment securities or RMBS. Each of these settlements comes with an assurance that they do not preclude future criminal charges against the banks or their employees as individuals who put these fraudulent securities together. <clears throat> so why haven't there been more criminal prosecutions and what can we expect going forward when it comes to criminal charges? Well, uh, you know, we have many tools in the toolbox when it comes to financial fraud. Uh, civil tools can be pretty effective, but that does not preclude us being able to use any of the other tools in our, in our toolbox. And so I won't comment on any, uh, in any particular uh, criminal investigation, whether one exists or not, but, but what I will say is that it's very intentional that we carve out criminal liability and the liability of individuals under these settlements.